Right, this is just a RAM replacement on a little old T16 Gen 3. So just a few screws, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The screws won't come all the way out because there's washers on the end of them. They'll usually start prying from the back corners. Interesting. A little bit of a different design where it comes up here. came off much easier than usual so you don't want to pry that up you just slide it out because there's slide in tabs here so, um, so yeah, just like kind of tip it up and slide it this way and then I think they have a shield over the RAM slots and just pull up on this tab. And this is just going to pop in like this. Press in. Um, I'll take the SSD out just so you can see it. So this copper thing is a heat sink and it has a little rubber thing on it as well. I'm just sliding the whole thing out. So that's just the this rubber silicone thing here. The SSD is just this. And there's just another one of those on that side and that's what's kind of holding it there. I won't pry it off just because it's already intact but you can if you need to replace it and put the heat sink back in. Okay, that's it. There's two more things on this one. I'm putting the heat shield back in. There's little silver tabs to uh, slide this back into. But what I want to show you was the change in the tabs, which is why it was so easy to open. Um, the side tabs look like this. And there's a little thing that just presses in. So that's why it was nice and easy to open. The back tabs were still the same as usual. But yeah, on the sides they have those. And like I said, the fronts are kind of like more slide-in ones. So don't pry from there. Okay.